the five dumb cops who were involved in his arrest. His How much you win? Asking for five hundred thousand dollars. Hey yo! The sum would be tripled. In case you don't know what I'm talking. Five hundred k. But in Cali, that shit is flipped to one point five mil. Holy f bag, my nigga. Bro, just for getting falsely accused, nigga, sign me up. Woke up just thinking about copping that spider. Walking right in and pull out with a title. Wanna lit like a lighter. Popping my shit, maybe niggas don't like it. The first video we got is the dumbest police officers ever. And I kind of want to see what the fuck these dumbass niggas did. Seattle Police Department, open the door. Contact. We're coming in. That nigga's not intimidating. Damn, they buzzing this shit. Seattle Police. Mistakes. It's what makes us human. Damn. It allows us to grow what would y'all do if that happened to you, bro? Better. If a mother just pulled up on you and it's the wrong address. Such huge blunders that they deserve to wear the title of dumbest police officer ever. Hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog. Yo, would they with shoot the dog? Do, do not. Do not. Do not. Get the dog off of it. Get the dog Yo, they got. As their canine. Members of law enforcement have authority over our well-being. Yo, that nigga just got a fucking bag off that shit. What the hell, bro? Just got a bag, my nigga. They attacked the wrong nigga. And even our lives. So when they make a dumb mistake, authority over our well-being, our freedom. Yo, this nigga's in the starter phase, bro. You're in that ugly phase. I'm so happy I'm not in that shit no more, bro. Shit, if I came on stream like that, y'all niggas would beg my shit talking about some wannabe address, and bro. Even our lives. So when they make a dumb mistake, there should be hell to pay. There should always be repercussions for our mistakes. Dog Otherwise, named Cupcake. Hey, hey, the dog don't bite, Reality guys. Is never that that fucking lie. Sometimes cops do really stupid things, and they get away with it. Will that be the case in today's lineup of dumbest cops? Let's find out. I hope all of these shits aren't fucking, um, wrong address, because that, that would be a boring-ass video. All right, listen. I'm going to reach you your rights real quick. All right? Damn, they got one of us. This is Samuel Scott Jr. I told me Samuel who had the audacity to call the cops once his car got stolen. And what did the cops do? <laughs> Yo, this nigga was calling the cops on somebody else and he got arrested. Yo, <laughs> he figured he was the suspect, so they arrested him. But let's take a step back and what? start at the beginning. On November 13th, 2018, Samuel Scott Jr. was visiting his aunt. Once he left her house at around 5.40 p.m., he noticed his 2006 Jeep Compass was missing. So Damn, what if I want to take that shit? Stolen. Several police vehicles... Some niggas is desperate. And Scott is immediately detained and handcuffed. Damn, immediately, nigga? Bro, he, they, they literally pulled up to the location where that nigga was and just arrested him. Why the fuck would he just stand there? Let's, let, let's be for real. Nah, no, explain to that nigga right now. What the hell? See, bro, like, I'm going to talk, and I'll be like, bro, in a situation like this, I, I would be calm and comply. But fuck no, bro. I ain't do shit. His aura upset the piggies. Yo, don't call the cops the piggies, dude. Make sure you complete that report, because I need that. Where's your ID? Right there. You're gonna take all your stuff. We can't take this. Yeah, imagine you didn't have his ID. Um, what about my kids? I mean, I, I, I literally, I went over there to see my kids and everything. My kids are. Where are your kids? I was with them. <laughs> Where are they? They were over there. At, what's the name? They were over there at my cousin's house. So, huh? What? I've been over there since. What? I wanna see. Come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta get some accurate information, though, because now you do look a little sus. Walk back over here. Two IDs? Yeah. That's not good. Well, one is an ID and one is a driver's license. How's that not good? What the fuck? Niggas don't got multiple IDs? I got multiple IDs. Shit. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. I got three IDs. What the fuck? Shit, is making me so fucking mad, bro. I can't. I, I just don't like cops that they, they just abuse their power, bro. Hats off to Mr. Scott for taking all this so lightly. 
His kids could yes, have seen their shit. dad through the window, and it could have traumatized them for life. He explains that he left them at his cousin's house and then walked back here. But wait, there has to be something else, right? Because this just doesn't make sense. Oh, God, Here's it doesn't. backstory. Officer Jonathan Guzman, the one who you watch put Mr. Scott in handcuffs, actually saw his car going 20 miles per hour over the limit. So he followed it. He witnessed the driver crashing into another vehicle and then fleeing the scene. He didn't see the driver's Yo, this nigga thought he fucking teleported. Bro, let's be for real. Let's be for real, bro. Face, but described him as a six foot two heavy set black male wearing a white tank top and fleeing the scene. And that really resembles Mr. Scott, right? Nigga, where's the white tank top? See, I, I be thinking that like cops really don't be listening to each other when they're giving out information. Cause they said a white tank top. Nigga, that shit is definitely charcoal black, bro. Who had a white undershirt, not a tank top, beneath the t-shirt. When the officers explained to Mr. Scott he looks like the suspect, he has a clever response. I mean, he would have changed, nigga, not that fast, though. Especially after crashing his car, bro. That's half of Miami, bald headed with a beard. Uh, even if he had dreads, his dreads with a beard. But then that's his half. I mean, like like I said, my kids, I called because my car got stolen. And my kids are over there. They don't even know what's so going on. So, what time was your car stolen? I told you, probably around about five. I didn't pay attention to the time. I really just jumped out of the car to go see. That's it. If you want, like I said, we can go. Like, I had my kids and stuff like that, dropped them off. Came over the, the, say hi. See, bro, like, no, bro. Y'all y'all saying that he can, but if this nigga was in the crib and then 20, 30 minutes later, his shit crashed, bro, and he's still at his fucking crib, bro. Well, I, I guess, bro. I, mean, I, I guess. But flee, flee, if you saw the nigga fleeing the scene in a white tank and he's still here in a black tank, like, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, like the I description said, doesn't add up. Across there, over here, all over the place. I don't know. We often come upon situations. They don't know that yet. No, I'm talking about like the niggas saying like he could change that fast. And acknowledge signs and information. Like I know the cops Mr. don't know Scott's that. story sounds perfectly reasonable and plausible. It's more than likely that another man who resembles Mr. Scott is <laughs> <in> stacked <laughs> could stolen his car. So why wasn't any of this taken into account? Because they're racist. Not only do they detain Mr. Scott, but also decide to arrest him. What? Damn, like no further questions, my nigga. Just straight pack watch. I mean, I call because my car is stolen. I mean, I, how me and my kids are gonna get home? My pillow, my my work ID, my work stuff, all of that stuff is in there. Why would I? That's why I'm like, what? What's? Why am I in handcuffs? Damn, bro. And, and I'm. Alright, just give me a second, okay? I'm open the window so exactly behind them. Again, the cops failed to acknowledge that any of this could be true. For that reason, these El cops, cops I ain't gonna lie. El cops, they, they heard black just arrested the, the, rest of the first black person they saw on God. This cop says when Mr. Scott tries to explain that he's a decent human being. W.S. G. Stradi Zaddy Hopa Honda Civic still union after four millennia chap and I indeed hope Bubba don't no. snatch no. them cheeks yeah. soon well tart soul from yours truly what? free take are you by sure about that? Do, do you need any more proof that this was a prejudice and was that me? It's like this dumb cop cannot wrap his head around the fact that this Literally. has not been to jail before. It's ludicrous. Soon after, Mr. Scott was arrested and charged with leaving the scene of the accident, false reporting of what? the crime, failure to carry a concealed weapon license, and possession of marijuana. All the what? charges were later dropped. Okay. Mr. Scott took matters into his own hands and Sued. filed a lawsuit against the city of How much you win? and the five dumb cops who were involved in his arrest. His How much you win? Asking for five hundred thousand dollars. Damn! The sum would be tripled. In case you don't know what I'm talking. Nigga, five hundred k. But in Cali, that shit is flipped to one point five mil. Holy fucking bag, my nigga. Holy, b bro, just for getting falsely accused. Nigga, sign me up. Talking about? Check out our video entitled "When a Suspect Sues Cops and Actually Wins." Not all dumb cops harm innocent civilians. Some do it to themselves, like these TikTok star wannabes. 
This Orange County Sheriff's deputy has been punished for a video <laughs> she posted on TikTok. Like, my nigga, if that were to arrest me, my nigga, I would be so mad, bro. Yet, despite the punishment, she continues to create new videos while wearing her uniform. The punishment came down when her supervisor apparently saw her streaming on TikTok Live while on duty. Yo, she what? Was she was streaming on answer, on live came under investigation. while her working? That's kind of crazy. The videos were inappropriate and embarrassing. The officer, named Shelby Abramson, was suspended from her job for disobeying her superiors and unbecoming conduct. Makes sense. She claims the suspension came because of the explicit lyrics in one of the videos. Abramson has been okay, yeah. The, the, the language in the video. Not you doing the whole fucking handstand trying to twerk like you just heard goddamn... Uh, go, like, like you heard just goddamn motherfucking uh, Red Nose by Saves the Gemini turn on. And you trying to twerk on the motherfucking wall. Creating TikTok videos of herself in uniform since shortly after she was hired. Yeah, that transition was so not clean. Videos of her Look at that weak ass transition, my nigga. My, my fucking baby cousin could do a better transition than that. Herself in uniform since shortly after she was hired by the agency less than two years ago. Those TikTok videos have Damn, at least she popping, though. It'd be different if Shorty wasn't popping, though. 80,000 followers. She, she's trying to double her revenue. Report. Although most of the videos Deputy Abramson posted were benign, some of the audio tracks contained foul language and sexually explicit lyrics. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, we could have found, <laughs> we could have found a different sound to use, bro. <laughs> Yo, on the job in the work clothes, listening to Kevin Gates is some freak work. I'm not going to lie to you. Yo. However, it seems she didn't learn her lesson. Or did she? Orange County Sheriff's Office does not allow employees to engage in social media activity that could negatively affect the public perception of the agency. And hey, but that's low-key not negatively that, that's not a bad look to cops you know they it shows the fun side and the personality that some cops have so i wouldn't see i wouldn't say that's like a bad representation of cops if anything she's enlightening it enlightening uniforms the, the situation identifying items or lightening up the situation social media pages even so she continued making videos although as she claims off duty this is what she had to say about her suspension okay so i just kind of want to address that comment right there because that's not the first one that i've recently seen um going around so here we go okay so regarding that yes i did get in trouble yes i got suspended but it was not for doing them on duty most of my videos were not done on duty whatsoever and if it was done in a school it was done either prior to kids getting there or after kids has already left the campus where I still need to actually be present on campus. My investigation and the reason why I got in trouble was because of the song choice that I did for um, that one video, nothing else. So, maybe so that one video. Else. Maybe not. Some people feel that this behavior is degrading to police officers, but she claimed that she only wanted to show that cops are also human beings. See, see, and, and literally what I was just saying earlier, bro. She's just trying to show like cops are just people too, bro. Guys behind a gun. I don't know about you, but I'd rather meet a bubbly, smiling officer. On God. A rugged type with a bad temper and itchy fingers. I swear to God. What about you. Do you agree? Similar to Deputy Adams, another female officer took to TikTok, but her public announcement caused an uproar, and rightfully so. This is wasn't way police wasn't department she department officer Brianna Strauss, and she decided to make a smug public service announcement. To yeah, I must say, I think I saw this shit. Look at this. PSA to everyone out there. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm probably speaking for a large majority of other officers out there. If we're driving on the freeway in our police car, get the f out of the way. Get the f out of the way. See, like, who the fuck is she? If you merge and we follow behind you and we merge too, you're probably in trouble. The best way to find that out is get the f out of the way. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get the f out of the way. Shit, who can't? Shit. Who can't, nigga? Who can't? If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the f out of the way. No, but that is crazy. I've always found it mad interesting when, 
You see a cop on the road and they just want to go 110 for no fucking reason. Like they got somewhere to go. When in all reality, nine times out of ten, they don't have anywhere to fucking go. Um, yeah, I just always found that interesting. Not to like hate on the law or anything, but y'all are picking favorites. That's all. You're welcome. Jeez, can she be more cringy? First of all, her entire demeanor is pompous and authoritative. She acts like she's better than everyone else. Oh gosh, she does. More rights than everyone else, just because she has a badge and drives a cop car. That's the top reason people don't like cops, and she's blatantly rubbing it in our faces. What was the point of this public service announcement? And to make it even worse, she got suspended for only one shift. On the what? Hand, Deputy Abramson got suspended for three weeks. What? Probably dancing. Which one do you think was worse? Nigga, what the fuck? Now, I don't want to bring race into it, but imagine if a black person did it, you know? <laughs> Th their whole job is gone. Speaking of bubbly girls flaunting their... When's the bathtub stream? Nigga, we already did it! ...and charm, let's hop over to Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, where professional acrobat Samantha Panda was placed in handcuffs after a Karen at the beach... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, she's an acrobat? I, I gotta see some uh, tricks and shit. I, I gotta see some tricks and shit for, uh... For, for, uh, uh, yeah. Bikini? Her friends got involved and started filming and questioning. Scientific, uh, research. Sam, Sam, just relax. Just relax, alright? Yeah, okay. me the fuck no, no, no. out. So, she, what is, she's, she's being detained. She's being detained right now. Okay. I'm hearing you out, bro. Okay, and, and how? They be fine, 100%, WCAP. And, uh, how, how is she just acting in, in, in your eyes? That, that's all I want to see. No, she didn't say that. She she asked you, she asked you if she wants to, if you can show her the, the penal code that says or the law that says. Yo, yeah, where's the footage before? I already think the cops are in the wrong. But I just want to see the I just want to see the footage before. I'm the type of nigga that needs to know all of uh all this shit. Yo, bring the follow me, dog. Bro, that's so crazy. Like, you used to be arrested for, like, like nothing. Isn't that so crazy to, like, think about? You used to be living your life, and boom. One bad cop gonna come out of nowhere and fucking ruin your life. So, why is it illegal to, to wear, to have a bikini on the beach? I literally wear is that why she got a... Yo. Yo, uh, this world is fucking cooked. Okay, absolutely. The officers escorted the ladies and their friend to the police vehicle and proceed to show the ordinance, yet they fail to acknowledge their own stupidity. The ordinance clearly says, and I quote, it shall be unlawful for any person to appear in the nude on any public beach, beach access to the public waters, or any public property in the view of the public. Okay, I might, I might be a dumbass nigga, so let me read beach, this a little beach slowly. Access to the it shall be unlawful. For any person to appear in the nude on any beach. Beach access to the public waters or any public property in the view of the public. The public so, waters. Or she's no, literally no, not naked. I don't pay my taxes. I'm not. She's literally not naked. Okay. So nobody's nude. There's nobody I'm nude right nude. now. I'm not nude. You're in a song. No, okay. Not Dong nude. is not nude. All right. An anus, a vagina are nude. <laughs> right. Anus. I never heard a nigga say anus IRL, bro. Anus. Like, <laughs> anus. An anus and a vagina are nudity. A thong is not nudity. Okay, all right. Ha having your nipples exposed is not against the law. As long as it is not in a sexually explicit manner. No, I'm serious. Hey, Stratus. That nigga like Ryan Reynolds with a beard. Uh, hey, Stratus was paying taxes. I don't make enough to pay my taxes. You put me in handcuffs. Oh god, they can't see clothes, bro. They, they blind. As long as it's not. That's how you know niggas be sexualizing bitches way too much, bro. Cause what what the fuck does this nigga mean? She's nude, my nigga. You see a nipple. You see a nipple peeking through a little bit of clothing, and now you think the bitch is naked. Sexually explicit manner, and there's no sexually. There's nothing sexually explicit about this. Look at the other. <laughs> nigga got see through so clothes. Manual, looking for a way out. <laughs> oh this shit. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. 
Prior to deciding to place a young woman in handcuffs, did it not occur to them that in the 21st century, wearing a thong is probably not considered nudity? Maybe they should have consulted the manual in depth before taking action. Yo, niggas is actually dumb. He's trying to manifest on God. The guy they just horny one to touch her? Hell yeah. That nigga's having the time of his life holding her behind those handcuffs. Hey, nigga name is K Dick. Little freaky ass nigga. We, nigga was born a freak, bruh. Oh, brother. Okay, hey, nude, in the nude. This is not considered nudity. Bro, this what a coincidence. Like parts. how they finna bother her but not pull me over when I'm going 125 in a semi down the freeway. No, it's not. Okay, well then, then, then there, there's other girls that have that have their cheeks, cheeks exposed. So, so do the same thing to them. Go put them in handcuffs. It's once simple. a freak, always like, a freak. Like it, just because, <laughs> once a just because freak, always a freak. A Nigga was born a freak, bro. More, more revealing does not mean that she's in the wrong. There are other bikinis. Like, look, I can see God damn, that bitch's nipples, nipples are poking, nigga. Put them things away, shorty. Fuck. The fact that they're even having a conversation like this is actually crazy. Where does it say? It doesn't say that. It says nudity. I'm not new. There's no nudity going on here. Just notice the. <laughs> Why the hell he got on the sleeve and went off? <laughs> Yo, nigga got, nigga got one fucking sleeve on, bro. He knows they're beaten. He's praying that his partner can muster up something from the rule book, but hopes for that are slowly fading away. The girl's male friend must have noticed that look as he decided to heat things up. And Acrobat Panda over here is about to make it weird. Can we have names and badge numbers, please? Yeah. Well, this is Zach Rackney. I knew his wife, actually. It's got Yo! That bitch no- Yo, yo, that's actually crazy. Uh, Yo! Yo! <laughs> this nigga's cooked. That nigga's heart is beating in his fucking ass, bro. You don't fuck with the wrong bitch. Uh, and then badge that nigga didn't even have to say his own fucking name. The bitch that is getting arrested exposed this nigga. That's crazy. What's your first name? <laughs> and then badge number? Three, five, nine. Oh, six, eight. Officer Dick. What's your first name? Kyle. Kyle Dick. Kyle Dick. Oh. I know, I know. Sam, Panda, Zach, Rafi, Kyle, Dick. This has to be made up, right? Only it isn't. It's all too real, but weird names aside, the cause for all this is Myrtle Beach's controversial code, which, believe it or not, currently... Kyle motherfucking dick. That's why they did this to her father. He hated the them too warbonding. Perhaps it's a newer code that attempts to be more precise, or it's just that these two cops are too dumb to find the claws in their code. However, code or not, arresting someone because they're wearing a thong is ridiculous, and it could have been conducted in a peaceful manner. But Officer Dick is about to escalate <laughs> things. <in a laughs> Yo, why you gotta put Amazon nigga name like that, bro? Nipples on Panda's friend. What, you're just gonna sit here and argue with us. Like, because you don't like the way we're dressed? No, okay. They literally are covered. No. Again, I'm talking to her. Okay, I, un I understand you're talking to her, but you need to go over there. No, I'm, I'm on a public beach. I'm on a public beach. I, look, we have our social distance. We have our social distance. Officer Dick sounds hard. He probably fucking is hard. Her face car kind of bad, but I'm hearing everybody out. Also, why are you guys not recording right now? Uh, you have no reason to do this. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. You literally told me this is nudity, and I'm not getting it. Her body kind of my fault. Soon, another officer arrives at the scene. After a brief consultation with Officer Raffi, he approaches the girls and engages in conversation to learn more about their side of the story. It seems that this conundrum lies in the vague Myrtle Beach code, which can obviously be interpreted in various ways. And he put me in 
God damn, they still talking about this shit? Jeez, here we go with the weird names again. Jimmy Jam is actually John, one of Panda's friends, but there's not much. Yo, yo, all of these niggas got some dumbass names, bro. Yo, imagine being in the fucking womb for fucking nine months to come out named Jimmy Jam, my nigga, and fucking Kyle Dick. The argument continues back and forth, pretty much the same way it did earlier. And nigga, nigga named fucking Panda. Like, nigga, am I am I watching a fucking cartoon show? But at least <laughs> the jamster, like bro. Dick to remove the handcuffs. He then goes to his car to have a better look at the code on his computer and explains that thongs that reveal the majority of the butt cheeks, as well as tops that reveal nipples, are not acceptable. Well, here's the thing: the way you guys are dressed, right? so if your butt is hanging out, yes, that is a violation of our city ordinance. So, are you gonna address? Ironic Stratacus. How the fuck is that ironic? My name is not fucking stupid. No, but they're not you, though. You, like you, they might be an inch with, more than mine. Well, you, you have to put on Damn, so I didn't put them buns away. My fault. So what's what's considered a thong? Because that's a Brazilian cat bikini. Yo, um, yo, that nigga freaky as fuck. I, how the hell this nigga know the different bikinis and different uh? Nigga be doing his research. I have a bikini. Nigga be doing his research. Okay. So okay, so so then so then that's a buttocks uh, over there. So. Yo, is he okay? Okay, is he pointing out buttocks, this nigga? Yo, alright, bro. It raises a lot of ethical issues. High school How dress code ass arrest. Oh my God. Who measures? I just get naked in front of them, bro. Kiki, they probably will fuck, bro. They probably be like, damn. Okay, never. Mind. I see. I see you talking about. Nipple or not? Who will be the judge of what's appropriate and what's not? I ain't gonna lie, yeah. This 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 does seem like some high school ass dress code. I ain't gonna hold you. With a vague manual because it directly affects people's freedom to express themselves. Sam Panda took to Facebook don't. in the fall. Don't. He don't. He don't. He don't. He don't. He don't. She wasn't this. I love dogs, and I'm of the firm belief that there are no bad. Oh, we get we get into the good shit. Bad owners. In the case of Jadarius Rose, a dumb canine Damn. operator released the dog on the defenseless man, even though he. So not only are cops racist, but the goddamn dogs are too. Was ordered not to do so. Rose was a truck driver. Damn. Even though he was 23 years old at the time, he looked like a kid. And in that situation, he acted like a kid. The incident started when a police officer decided to pull him over for a missing mud flap. The Rose fuck is a mud first, flap? But then kept going. So the cop called for backup and engaged in pursuit. This okay, okay. This is the moment. Okay, so, um, you're black and the cops pull you over and you decide to run away. I can't be mad at the cops. This nigga stupid. When he pulled over, but seeing the guns aimed at him, he continued. Yo! To notice the gun this officer's aiming with. All he did was move 10 centimeters. Why the fuck are we pulling out a goddamn P90? <laughs> nigga had a vector fully loaded, ready to ready to let off shots at any time. Shit. <laughs> Nigga got an XM4 from Cold War. Oh god. Ready aim fire on that motherfucker. Nigga got an M4A1 from MW3. Yo, that nigga kept going? My nigga, my sixth sense would have kicked in. My spider sense would have known that a fucking gun is being fucking pointed at me. Yeah, we got balls. Okay, it's like Orwell, Orwell County or Wall County. He took off again. Uh, we're heading northbound, 23. I might pull off too. Fuck it. Northbound, right lane. Shit, hey, hey, my nigga's just trying to live. I mean, no one approached that nigga true. Now, it wasn't a high speed pursuit by any stretch of the imagination. Yo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, cop cars.
for this one nigga? You would have thought this nigga robbed a bank and got five stars on GTA. Why are the Avengers here? Imagination. Thing is, this kid had done nothing wrong. It's just that when he pulled over and saw all the guns pointed at him, he got scared. He then actually called his mother and asked her what to do. She told him if he'd done nothing wrong, he should stop. But then he rolled down the windows and saw the guns again and did not feel safe at all. So instead of getting out, he continued driving and called 911. Shit, I mean, help him. In case you I think guess. That's crazy, listen to this. Nigga got four stars. <laughs> There's no SWAT. Seems to confirm that he was afraid. I parked the truck and um, I was about to comply with them, but they all uh, had their guns drawn out for whatever reason. Um, it seemed like they're trying to kill me. You need to comply with them. I mean, what was he expecting to hear from the Shit. officer? Shit! This just goes to show how inexperienced and really afraid he was. As the operator instructed him to obey the officers, Rose, if now, now I'm intrigued, bro. What the fuck is a missing mud flap? Missing mud flap violation. What what the fuck is a mud flap? All vehicles in the California are. What the? What is a mud flap? Oh. A mud flap is a flap that cover the wheels backside oh. to prevent rocks from kicking up and flying into cars windshields. Okay, 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 Little okay, did he okay. Know what was in store for him? Bro, you retarded? Maybe. No, I didn't know what the fuck it was, dumbass nigga. Fucking idiot. There's a You're a fucking truck driver, so you better know what the fuck that shit is. Enforcement vehicles, including Ohio State Highway Patrol and the Sheriff's Office. And that's when this happened. And that's a dog! Come to me! You know one bit! Come to me, man! Don't let them it's release the sleep. dog. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his Damn, hands up. Damn, bro. My nigga's, my nigga's cooked, bro. I ain't gonna lie. First, we had niggas pointing M16s at this nigga, and now we got dogs ready to fucking latch at any any opportunity. Do not release the dog with his hands up, dog. Yo, that nigga led the dog to him. Do, do not. Do not. Do not. Get the dog off of it. Get the dog. As you can imagine, Damn. horrific wails ensue from the young driver, pleading for the officers to get the dog off. Shit, he's getting However, fucking canine the dog teeth does what shit. he is trained to do and does not let go that easily. At this point, the dog still does not let go, and you can see the female officer cover her face in yeah. disbelief. Yeah. Even when the dog is finally off, the kid continues screaming, most likely out of shock more than just the pain. And all the officers seem to be taken aback by what just transpired. Yo, and like, why my nigga? Bro, 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 bro. The officers seem to be taken aback. Why is my nigga handcuffed, though? Yo! And what just transpired. And this young man's ordeal isn't over yet. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm suing, nigga. Fuck that 500k, that nigga got. Give me two mil up front. I'm, I'm in bad for this one? Yeah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. He probably thought he was about to die for it. Oh, God. I'm just thinking about how that nigga arm looking right now, bruh. Cause that motherfucker was doing that goddamn. Oh, arr, 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 arr. Arr. Have any of y'all in chat got bit by a dog before? I don't think I ever got like seriously bit bit by a dog. Bounce bit me once or twice. We're trying to get a wrap. We're wrapping it up. We're not trying to hurt you. Damn, bro. What if the nigga got rabies from that shit? Y'all just making it worse. And you still ain't on me like you're pinning me down. Nobody's on you. Yes, you are. Look, you're grabbing my shorts. We're trying to wrap you up. I don't need it wrapped up right now. 
<laughs> the bearded man such a nigger such a nigger the canine handler who let the dog loose just to make it clear it wasn't like the dog so these dogs aren't allowed to carry the rabies clearly Type shit. The young driver kneeling with his hands up when the dog runs the other way then his handler yells at him frantically pointing at the unarmed suspect who seems to be surrendering oh nah he a op that nigga better get fired yo he's racist he's fucking no he's racist He's fucking racist. Or yells at him, frantically point Get that nix! That that's what he did. That that's what he did. I'm sorry. Respect, who seems to be surrendering. This certainly brings up some terrible images from our past. And it's not clear what Speakman was thinking at the time as he failed to comment. He was fired from the Circleville PD Good. because he did not meet the standards and expectations Good. we hold for our police officers. We'll come back to this. Now let's see what Rose and his lawyer have to say after a dimwit journalist asked him if the cops firing is enough to make things right. Like that. Shit, like hell no. Hey, fuck that shit. Get my nigga a fucking bag. What the fuck? Get my nigga some bread. What the hell? They, they fired the police officer. Is that enough for you? Hell no. I'm sorry, uh, Ben. If you if you could answer that question. Yeah, Tom. I certainly think it doesn't remove the trauma. Yeah. And the you better be on the black people's side, buddy. Jadarius, who was on his knees putting his hands in the air which is the universal sign of surrender what more can a black person do to say that i'm not putting you in fear it was enough that he had guns oh god him, uh, when he nigga had the firing team ready to shoot at that nigga in gta my auntie had a big ass dog named Tiger and when I was a little nigglet I would always get chased by him when I visited and I wish I knew he's who wanted to play cause he passed and I can't do none about it. Yo, R.I.P. R.I.P. Uh, Tigger. The sentiment of most black people in America when the police pull them off. You can't just say he was a little Jadarius niggling, though. Like, bro, come on, dude. The like, the civil rights attorney who's previously represented Randy Cox, a G.K. Owens, and the family of George Floyd. Damn. Rose said that when the dog was biting him, he was terrified, and he thought he was gonna die. The pain was real, and he was screaming because he just didn't want to die. He also said Damn. that he couldn't even see what the officers were doing because he was so scared of the dog that was ripping into his arm. Oh, I know that shit fucking hurt, bro. All that and no money gotta do that shit again. What the fuck? I'm gonna let you either sit or stand. As long as you ain't gonna do nothing stupid. I'm gonna do some stupid with hands. Have him set up, Tyler. Let him, let him set up. Yo, like cops, bro. These niggas is so. Oh, I hate these niggas. As long as you don't do nothing stupid, yo, dumbass. He's handcuffed and just got fucking bit by a fucking dog. What? What else is he gonna do? You still squeezing me? I know. You I'm still squeezing me? Let it go. Don't put press on me. You have to have press. Don't know. Let let it be. Just go ahead, buddy. Why are you still touching me? Okay. Why are you still touching me? Because you are under arrest. Yeah, I have handcuffs on. Understand. When I was small, I tried to pet my small dog named Wade. It's understandable that after such a shock, Rose just wants some room to breathe. As for Officer Ryan Speedman, the Ohio Patrolman's Benevolent Association has filed a grievance on behalf of the Ohio Patrolman's Benevolent Association. Yo, Jeff, read the follow-up, big dog. Was good with you. And a use of force review board determined that the agency's policy for the use of canines was followed in the application apprehension and arrest really i'd like to see the policy that says what? officers are supposed to unleash dogs on defenseless unarmed suspects what do you think Should they're racist nation be rescinded should he be paid and reimbursed for all lost wages, seniority, and benefits lost resulting from his firing? Man, my nigga better get some money. Record and sponged of his termination history? Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. I bet Damn, that nigga arm was bleeding out. Blood rushing. Be so, bleeding bad as we're shit. we're all amped up and ready for action, let's follow a couple of officers as they bravely break down the door to an apartment where an intoxicated man was causing a scene and apparently having a mental breakdown while throwing things out of the window. Yeah, so it was the bad, it was the wrong, because we already the saw the, the shit on this one. So it was the wrong address, but it was still an Open intoxicated nigga now. doing dumb shit. Open the door, we're kicking the door! Seattle yeah. police! 
Damn, they came that bitch confident as hell. Now this looks a Seal Team Six in the motherfucker. Well, the thing is, there were several reports. One said that the man was hanging out of the window, while the other said that the suspect was trying to push someone out the what window. What the fuck? So it's perhaps justified that these officers would break the door with guns drawn, even without a warrant, if they feared for the victim's safety. However, pretty soon they realized that there's no broken window and there's no. We don't even got swatted, I mean, bro. I don't even want to think about shit like that, bro, because I wouldn't fucking know. Because I feel like some shit like that would traumatize a nigga, bro. To all the streamers that still be streaming after that shit, bro. No, I think that shit would... I think that would be it for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a black male at that. They probably come in that bitch and start shooting. It's on the street, but they fail to realize that. Meanwhile, the woman in the apartment is taking a bath, so she doesn't even hear the cops shouting until they're already inside the apartment. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how I would feel after, bro. Like, I would be... I would be in shock. Inside. What the f Who else is inside? Who else is in here? Nobody. Hello, hello. What the f See, like, yeah, like, what? They just traumatized the fuck out of that girl. <laughs> traumatized. There's no broken window. The reason why there's no broken window is that the cops did not just miss the apartment, they missed the entire building. The dispatcher said that the in. What? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Niggas was at the entirely wrong place, nigga. How the fuck do you mess up something that fucking bad? Was it 3028 First Avenue? But these cops decided to go to 3016 First Avenue, which was half a- Yo, did niggas not double check? <laughs> yo. Walk away from the yo. <laughs> That's the actually fucking stupid. Their mistake. That's crazy. Yo, that bitch is fucking. Ooh, I know she's traumatized, boy. Just bought this new perfume that smells like Badussi, alright? <laughs> what is that? What is that even like? What's that smell, bro? Better Nigga, that's the whole never. building, Cops buddy. Are now certain that they're at the wrong place. That's the whole In reality, wrong building. They into the apartment of a 45-year-old therapist named Elizabeth Wynn. Instead of yo, now this bitch gotta go to therapy, my nigga. God damn! Now this bitch don't even want to do her profession anymore, my nigga, because now she gotta look for someone to replace her profession. Apprehending the suspect, they were now faced with a sobbing, shaking, traumatized woman. Well, my gun sound like <laughs> up, up, up. my fault. Man, we, we gotta the wrong kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, I feel the bad for her. I Imagine if someone burst into your house while you were in the shower and held you at gunpoint. It must have been scary, and she must have felt like her rights as well as her privacy were violated. Not to mention, she could have been shot by a trigger happy cop. Oh my god, bro, that's my. Hallway, bro, because I don't really it. feel like these cops, bro. Shoot on sight with some of these motherfuckers, bro. Shoot on sight, bro. Them niggas don't give a fuck about your well being, bro. What the hell? Yo, she's not hearing none of that shit, bro. that i wouldn't want nobody talking to me after that shit bro i wouldn't want nobody no i wouldn't want none of them niggas talking to me get the fuck out of my crib after that shit 
Y'all niggas already done fucked up. So when help her, I feel so bad. That's what I'm okay. saying, bro. It was incredibly dumb to go into the wrong building, right? But this cop handled the situation quite professionally. He could have just said sorry and stormed out of there and let the supervisor deal with it. But he stuck around, explained the situation in more detail, and tried to calm the woman down. See, that, apologized that, multiple that's times. a real nigga for that, so though. That I ain't gonna lie. Yo, Bill's fan, he's the motherfucking follow walking guy that motherfucking stream, man. Yo, Sayaka, what's up, man? Elizabeth Wren is well, we're just watching dumb cops. <laughs> Seattle Police Department is getting sued after breaking down the front As she door fucking and should. into the wrong apartment. The woman who lived there claims she's still traumatized from that day three years ago. Tonight, King Five. Damn. From three fucking years ago, that's just weighing on your mind. God damn. And it was all unnecessary. Seattle Police. Ren was getting ready to take a bath when police suddenly. Wait, that bitch wait three years to fucking sue. <laughs> The fuck? She realized how close she came to losing her own life for no reason. She had a teapot in her hand, a metal teapot. But what if she had grabbed a kitchen knife? What if mm. she grabbed anything else that the police would have construed as a weapon? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for being here and keep a lookout for the next hidden file. Damn, bruh. That's actually fucking crazy. I didn't realize some motherfuckers were actually. I didn't realize some motherfuckers were actually that fucking dumb, bruh. Holy shit. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie. Interesting video. I thought it was gonna be lame at first. I thought it was gonna be lame, but W fucking video, man.